Hi everyone, in this tutorial, we're gonna add a collection slider for our homepage and it should work with Dawn team and also the updated Dawn team. So when you go to your store here, you should be able to click actions and then edit code. And then if you go all the way to your config folder and then open the setting schema, you should be able to see your temp version. Right now it's 2.5. They added several things. They added a slideshow for this one. And some of my product slider code might not work because of this update. But I did create a collection slider with this updated uh, temp version. So if you see it in here, you can have a multiple uh, featured slider and it should work the same. You can have... Um, of course, uh, change the, the collection or choose your collection and then you can have maximum products to show. I believe in this one, I only have 10 products and you can still enable and disable your view all button and you can change the image ratio from adapt to image, which is going to be whatever the height of your image you have. And also you can change it to portrait and then square. And you can also add a second image on hover. So when you hover, you should have the second image. And then add an image padding to the box. And also show the vendor is still going to work. And also the show product rating if you have a product rating. And then I added a border color for an active slide. So when you choose the slide, you should know which product you're choosing from uh, based on the border. So you can also change it to transparent for this one. Um, just change the color to transparent so it will not appear if you don't want it. And the uh, pagination style, you can have a choice for dots or uh, numbers. So you can choose the numbers here. And then it's both well, works the same. Um, as what I said, you can add multiple of this in one page. And to start, you just have to follow five steps. So we're going to go to our Shopify admin store. And from here, we should go to online store, click teams. We're not going to touch the current team, but if you want to use this team, you just have to click actions and then duplicate your code. We didn't work on the duplicated code. But for me, I'm just going to use this undone team that I have not customized yet. And we're going to click actions and then edit code. And we're just going to expand this window right here. There are several options to do this, but I'd rather uh, create a new section for this one. So we're going to go to our section folder. So section folder, add a new section. And you can name whatever you want. But this one, I'm going to name this featured uh, dash slider. And then create a new section. And we're going to go to our website. And we're going to go all the way down here and then click to copy. And go back to our code editor and then we're just going to delete this code right here and control V to paste. And to format it nicely, we have to highlight it by pressing control A and then click shift tab to format it and click save on that one. And next we're going to create a CSS file for this one. Uh, this one I name it uh, feature slider so we have to copy the name here. So we're going to go to our asset folder and add a new asset and then create a blank file. And this one we're going to call featured dash slider and then add a new asset. So make sure it's the same as this one right here. And we're going to look for our featured dash slider uh, file. So open that one and then we're going to go back to our store again. And then we're going to go all the way down to this uh, port uh, stack. And then click to copy and go back to our code editor again and control V to paste and then highlight it and click shift tab to format it and then click save on that. And last thing is to add the script. So we're going to open the global.js under our assets folder. So go down and find global.js and we're going to go all the way down. We're going to paste the code here. And we're going to go back to our website and go down and grab this code right here. So click to copy and go back to our code editor again and then control V to paste. And I'm just going to highlight this one and then click shift tab again 
to format it and click save and that's it it should work and then if you go to our customized team right click on that one and open a new tab we should be able to add a section right here and then it, it is named feature collection slider so open that and we can add our collections right here so let's select a collection and i'm just gonna go all products and then select so it has a um, default for four products you could add maximum uh, of 99 should be working and that's it guys and let me know if you have any questions don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching